I'm a big advocate of setting goals, seeing yourself progress and setting those tiny steps to improvement. But sometimes it's good to just chase the endorphins. That's the focus for today, pure enjoyment. This is your time to shake off anything that might be bothering you and run just for fun. This is about the music and the magic of running together and the benefits for your body and your soul. You're going to love it. minute warm-up track and this is going to get you in the mood for the best run of your life. You can stay in a power walk if you want or come jogging with me. Guideline speeds 6, 8 or 10 kilometers. This is where we're going to let the rhythm take control of our soul. If you don't already love running, it's my job today to make sure you fall in love with it. Eyes up, chest forward, just settle in. Just enjoy. We use the warm up to just settle in, get our mindset in the right place. Everything we do today is primed for pure enjoyment, and that starts right here. I'll give today. I'm going to give you an RPE scale as well. That's the rate of perceived exertion. One is your minimum, ten is your maximum. Right now, no more than a five out of ten. There will be challenges along the way, just a few. So if you're feeling good and ready, please take them. We can have fun and still surprise yourself. Maybe with a little personal best today, you never know. We're going to lose a tiny bit off the speed. Maybe one kilometre off. Small incline to warm up your glutes and hamstrings. 3% on now. This is a sprint programme. Not too many hills in today. Just a little bit here and there to help you get the most out of the fun and your speed. is going to build up very gradually to the sprint at the end of this working block. You've got three sets of two minutes of work, one minute of rest. Each time we come back to a round, it's going to change slightly. It is always going to start with a 60 second jog. That means starting speeds on six, eight, ten kilometers please. 60 second jog to start. No rush. First round, now. Here. It's faster than the warm up, and 
I'd like to try and get your legs ticking over in time. Running to this cadence with a high foot turnover just helps to avoid injury, help you into a more efficient runner, and that will in turn add to the fun. This feels a little bit slow for me, so I'm just going to increase speed a tiny tad. Still jogging though. In this round, 60 second jog, 60 second run. So when I tell you, you can add about two kilometers and find an easy run pace. Speed increase coming in. So easy run pace, maybe eight, 10, 12 kilometers. Reach forward. Up you go. One minute. Done. You get one minute of complete rest. You can walk, you can jog if you want, but I would keep it easy. Next time you do this, in about 40 seconds time, we still got that 60 second jog. This time, the second half of the work interval is a hard run. We're gonna be working to ride a seven out of 10, speed obviously higher. The main thing is to get the feeling right, which I will guide you to. Take a moment to appreciate this breakdown in the music. I'm just gonna be quiet for just a moment to enjoy. You can hear it coming in, speed's on, jog pace, same as last round, you can stay walking more if you want, go! Working this way with a slow, gradual build of the sprint. It means that when we get there, it's like unleashing a racehorse. You're gonna love it. Speed increase coming in. Guidelines here, nine, 11 or 13. It should feel punchy. Reach forward, up you go. So you can take a few moments to get the feeling right. The feeling here is challenging, but sustainable. Maximum, I'd say four to five words at a time. After that, you're just a bit too puffed to try it just to see. Personally, I can afford to go up just a touch, but it's about finding the right pace for you. By now, you should be feeling it. <laughs> a bit of discomfort creeping in, but it's okay. Just use the music to guide you. Last few moments, looking strong. Reach forward, speed down, your recovery is just here. 
rope walk. <laughs> uh, this minute is welcome, isn't it? If you feel a bit like I look, <laughs> you've been doing it, bang on. Last round, starts exactly the same. 60 second jog, then a 30 second hard run, and finally that 30 second sprint. Oh, this track gives me goosebumps. You can't press rewind. We get one chance at life to savour every moment. A few more moments, just let the build creep in. Can we press rewind? Can we press rewind? Can we press rewind on those numbers? Can we press rewind? Can we press rewind? Can we press rewind on those numbers? Can we press rewind? Can we press rewind? Reach down. Speeds on. Last two minutes of work. Let's make it matter. Boom. Right there. <laughs> so, so good. The beat is what we need right now. fun of downhill sprinting. Three rounds of 90 seconds work and 30 seconds rest. Each round is going to start with a 30 second jog, then we're going to add an incline for 30 and then sprint for 30 downhill. You're going to love it. Starting speeds then, 6, 8, 10, a nice gentle jog speed. No more than a 5 out of 10, so speeds on. You can hear it coming in. Immediately, when that beat kicks in, the smile goes on. It's automatic. You'll notice the beat here. Try to get your feet almost in time to the music. Higher cadence equals more efficient, less risk of injury.
take a moment to breathe. Short recovery here, just 30 seconds in total. We're going to do that again. No change to the structure. Your options are to leave out the incline if you want to, or stay walking for the first little bit. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to walk the first 30, then bring the jog in in the next 30 seconds. Speed on. If you're with me, just walk. Sometimes a bit of extra recovery works wonders. It means that when we do hit the sprint, you're going to be absolutely raring to go. Ready to start jogging? Speed's on and 3%. jogging just on the incline to get the glutes and hamstrings back into the mix. Get ready to zero your incline. That means sprint speed is on now. leaves one to go breathe and walk no change to structure here you know how it goes so this is about running the way is going to get the best out of that last 30 second downhill sprint i'm going to jog the first 30 seconds but slowly speeds on last 90 seconds now challenge as we add the, the incline, lose the incline and add the sprint, try to keep your feet in the same cadence. Incline now. We're going to use that downhill momentum to put some fire into your feet, some passion in your heart. Incline, down, sprint speed, if you can, adding something on your last 30 seconds, now. Last 15, anything more to give, do it now, one chance. Less than 10. Reach forward, speed down. Recovery is just there. Well done. This is possibly my favorite sprint track. We got three rounds of two minutes of work and one minute of rest. In that two minutes, we start on incline, we lose the incline, and we finish on incline, and speeds are gradually going to increase. So, 4% on now, please. Inclines will get easier as we go. Coming in at a jog speed, 6, 8, or 10. I will cue to change always. Go! You'll notice the fast cadence. Try to get in rhythm with it. Makes you really efficient and helps reduce the chance of injury. On the 4%, lift your knees, lead into the incline. We're going to bring it down in just a moment and you're going to add a little bit of speed. Incline now, down. Speed up by two kilometers. Take to a more steady run pace. Next increase in speed. Another two 
two or so kilometers, finding a strong run. We're not sprinting yet. That's coming in the last 30 seconds. Long strides, arms are pumping, mouth is open, 4% incline, back on now. Get ready, little hint spill coming your way. Speed, 14, 16, 18, last 30. One minute to ourselves. Do whatever you need. Walk, keep your chest lifted. <laughs> all the fun, all the fun right here. We've got two more rounds of that. One minute recovery in between to be feeling a lot better. This round starts and ends on a 3%, so it goes like this. Speed is still that incremental increase each time. Option for this round, if you like, we can stay walking for the first 30 seconds. I'm going to do that, but we're all going to start on 3%, so do that for me now. Let the music lift you up. If you're going to come in with a jog pace, reach forward, find me a moderate jog. If you're with me in a walk, keep your legs ticking over. Go! bit of spice. Get your glutes and hamstrings ready for what's to come. Reach forward, incline down now, and let's get into a jog or a run. Wherever you are, refinding the cadence, the rhythm that we got in the first round. of exertion but this is what's going to give you that high the runner's high this is a whole minute do whatever you need if you've got some water handy take a sip now one more round as before you can stay in a walk for the first 30 if you want we're going to start on a two percent put on for me now please Me personally, I love this bit so much, this track. 
I'm going to do the same as the first round, jog, then run, hard run, sprint. Come with me. I know you want to. Speed's on. Just a jog. In kinds of low this round, all right? Bit of give and take. Let's go. If you're on incline, bring it down for me now and find a steady walking pace, maybe three, four or five kilometers, arms swinging by your side, chest lifted and breathe. If you're feeling very puffed, make sure your walking pace is fast enough to catch up with your breath because sometimes if you stop too soon that's when you get that bit of you know you feel a bit funny maybe a bit lightheaded but walk it out at a decent pace and that will soon calm down be with you forever. what a fun fun run that was I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did and kind of shared that passion because once you found that the rest will follow fall in love with it first and the rest is right behind you. Shaking any tension from your arms. If you feel like you've got tension in your jaw, relax it. If your shoulders are up here, circle them round and down. Using this last few moments to scan your body. If everything feels okay, or anything you need to stretch out after this workout, always take care of your joints, your muscles. We've got one body and we need to take care of it. And then it will take care of us too. And you probably got that first kind of sense of calm, serenity, and those endorphins, the happy hormone. There's a saying in the UK, runners high, and it's a real thing. It's this right here, the feeling that you've got coming over you now. Very special. <laughs> One of the reasons why I first fell in love with running, and I hope you're experiencing that as well right now. few 
last deep breath in through your nose and then exhaling slowly through your mouth. One more, we can take the shoulders with us. I want to be with you forever. And then bring your treadmill to a standstill. So well done. Take a moment to appreciate how different you feel now to what you did before the session. That is what happens when you sprint yourself happy. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you next time.